We all know I'm a bit of a nab, but I was watching MeBeater stream driving school yesterday and I realised, or noticed more like, that he turned off his auto-aim and he was now just aiming manually, something a lot of the pro players do. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a bash and get used to it, being a person who normally uses auto-aim and gets frustrated, and I'm going to show you what results I actually managed to achieve. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now if you're like me, you use auto aim and if you're more like me, you use the old auto aim rather than the new one. But having auto aim on tends to confuse your tank, especially when there are multiple targets. Not only that, it doesn't always point you in the right direction, so to speak. And when I say that, I mean in the direction that you need to penetrate. It will point you at the tank, but not necessarily at the best part of the tank. You have to try and manipulate it. So anyway, as I said in the intro, I was watching Newbie to stream last night, and I noticed that he was using auto-aim, and I noticed a lot of the pros dump auto-aim. So I thought I'm gonna give it a bash. Now, a couple of things you need to remember. If you are gonna go into auto-aim, you need to drop your camera sensitivity settings quite a lot, in fact. I think Newbeater was saying he dropped his to 70%, uh, 75%, sorry. I dropped mine to 70%. This is my second ever game using non-auto-aim. So there's no auto-aim being used in this game. I am aiming this fully. And with the camera sensitivity settings set down really low, it's actually more manageable. If you have it above, I mean, Newbeater says if you have it above 75, it becomes pretty nasty. I found if you have it above, I mean, if you get it to above 80, then it's almost unworkable because your gun's just all over the place. I'm not saying that 70 is ideal. I mean, it's perfect for me, but I may even drop it down a little bit more. I don't know yet. But as you can see so far, I'm not, I'm not setting the world on fire in this game, but all that is soon to change. It's a bit of a nail biter, I must admit, but hey, I like this game. And I'm in Carnarvon, which is a tank I do like. I'm here on Mayan Ruins, which is a map I actually like as well. And this is the thing about auto-aim. You can start aiming at those points where you're gonna pen. And as you can see, the gun is not going wild in all different directions, trying its best to locate the target and lock on. It's me doing that. And you know what? Once I got used to it, I found that it's much smoother gameplay. It's much easier gameplay. I mean, that was just poor pen. And I'm pretty convinced that auto-aim being disabled is actually the way to go. Now, a lot of people aren't gonna be convinced about that, but this is sort of growing on me. It really is, because I found that I'm landing a lot more shots than what I would with auto-aim enabled, because I do get a lot of bounces with auto-aim. I'm not gonna lie, and if anybody's seen my streams, you will see that I have a lot of rubber bullets. And that's not necessarily the RNG. It, it could actually be the fact that the auto-aim is pushing me to an area that I don't want to be aiming at. Whereas with this, I am able to aim almost with precision those areas I want to pen. Oh, God, the IS-3 defender is so trolly. So you can see here that we're getting some good shots in. Unfortunately, the team has collapsed. I must point out, I, credit where credit is due, the Vickers CR player on my team was really good. He did his job well. And when we lost, when I lost him there to the IS-3 defender, that was actually a big loss. I could have done with him surviving and he was a really good player. The other thing is the Pantera on the other team is also a very good player. And he's always gonna give me a hard time. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm, I'm not worried about the Pantera. I know he's gonna come behind me. So I'm keeping an eye on the minimap to see where he is. He, I can see him sort of popping up. So this is waiting for the E75 to shoot. He does. Now I'm going to move away, try and get away from the Pantera, try and get to the other side of the 75TS. 
That way the Pantera may have his shots blocked by the E75, which is going to help me. I'm going to back away, keeping the 75 between me and the Pantera. I'm going to get rid of the 75, although, to be honest with you, I should, probably should have focused on the Pantera. He was a better player. As you can see, the, the E75 is just, well, he's missing almost every shot. I do lose a lot of hit points, and now I'm in a brawl. There's nothing I do. It's one-on-one. -on -one. He had a lot more hit points than me. He's got he's got a better gun in real terms. It dishes out better damage. I've knocked him down to a one-shot uh, about now. Yeah, he's got 34 hit points. Maybe I should have rammed him. Uh, my mistake. However, he manages to wreck me, and it's all over. But I was happy with that game. We've got a nice mastery. We did 4.6k in the Carnarvon. It was a nice game. Okay, it was a heartbreaker, but it was still a nice game. And it just goes to show how different the game can be if you turn auto aim off. Oh, and by the way, the T62A in the intro, that was also without auto aim. That was my first game, actually. So, I've been Fujit. That's been my quick video on try to get used to playing without auto aim. You may find a marked difference in the way you are playing, and you may think or find that it's suddenly a little bit better. Anyway, by all means, comment and everything below, because I'd be interested to hear your views on this. Anyway, until the next time, guys, stay safe on the battlefield, have fun out there, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.